so how do we solve this these are called nested radicals let's solve it using multiple methods so first method in this we will use the concept square root of a equals a raised to the power of 1 upon 2 so this first square root means 16 times 16 under square root times 16 under square root under square root then if we remove the square root and instead we write whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2 then whole raised to the power of 16 again a raised to the power m whole to the power n this is equal to a raised to the power m times n so this means this is equal to 16 times 16 times 16 under square root under square root then whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 16 2 times 8 is 16 now it is equal to 16 times 16 under square root times 16 under square root under square root whole raised to the power of 8 again the identity a times p whole to the power m it is equal to a to the power m times p to the power m so this means this is equal to 16 to the power 8 times 16 under square root times 16 under square root under square root whole raised to the power of 8 or 16 to the power 8 times again this square root if we remove it we can write it as 16 times square root of 16 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 8 again 2 times 4 is 8 so this is 16 to the power 8 times 16 to the power 4 then times square root of 16 raised to the power of 4 or 16 to the power 8 times 16 to the power 4 times square root of 16 means 16 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 4 2 times 2 is 4 so this is equal to 16 to the power 8 times 16 to the power 4 times 16 square again there is an identity if a to the power m times a to the power n then this is equal to a to the power m plus n here we can add the exponent so 16 to the power of 8 plus 4 plus 2 so this is equal to 16 to the power 14 again 16 we can write it as 2 to the power 4 then whole to the power 14 so this is equal to 2 to the power 4 times 14 so this is equal to 2 to the power 56 this is our solution let's try the second method so 16 times 16 under square root then 16 under square root all under square root whole to the power 16 so square root of 16 is 4 so we can write 16 times 16 under square root times 4 then to the power 16 again 16 times 4 is 64 so 16 times square root of 64 under square root whole to the power 16 again square root of 64 is 8 so we can write 16 times 8 under square root whole to the power 16 or we can write it as square root of 16 times square root of 8 because when a times b is under square root we can write it as square root of a times square root of b whole to the power 16 square root of 16 is 4 square root of 8 we can write it as 2 square times 2 under square root whole to the power 16 or this is equal to 4 times 2 times square root of 2 whole to the power 16 again when a times b whole to the power m it is equal to a to the power m times b to the power m so this we can write 4 to the power 16 times 2 root 2 to the power 16 or 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 16 times 2 to the power 16 times square root of 2 to the power 16 so this is 2 to the power 32 times 2 to the power 16 times 2 to the power 1 upon 2 times 16 2 times 8 is 16 now we can add 2 to the power 32 plus 16 plus 8 this is equal to 2 to the power 56 which method did you use let me know in the comment section thanks for watching